Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. I wanted to quickly make a video on Bitcoin. Uh, we are seeing uh, somewhat retracement in the market in the last couple of days and I just want to bring you a quick video on this. Um, we had a nice uptrend um, that we were, uh, we were seeing from the recent low around July 28th and uh, we try to uh, make a um, run toward uh, 13,000, uh, 13, 14,000 mark um, and we kind of stalled, uh, we didn't have too much volume on that and um, basically what we are seeing right now is you know somewhat retracement and that retracement uh, turned into somewhat selling um, but it's coming near this uh, support point at 20 day moving average the orange line that you're seeing that's a 20 day moving average on the daily chart um, what is interesting is uh, we need to uh, we need to make sure that you know uh, the price action stays over the 20 day moving average um, that uh, that really creates uh, somewhat momentum especially when we are in the uptrend so um, right now we are seeing some support uh, and a bounce back from the 20 day moving average on the daily chart and if, if you look at the weekly chart um, we are seeing the same type of support on the weekly um, at nine day moving average which is this blue line so we are seeing uh, some support at around um, around 10,700 in the weekly chart and the daily chart so it's very critical that we do hold uh, those uh, support level 10,700 um, in order to have a um, uh, bounce back up but right now um, it's, it's it's a pretty you know um, I'm, I'm still watching the market not making any drastic move this is not a time to buy this is not a time to you know I would put my stop losses maybe around like you know 10,400 10,300 just a little bit below those uh, support points um, if, if I'm in the position but I don't have any position in Bitcoin right now uh, but that would be the typical thing that I would do um, if I have a large Bitcoin position uh, if I have a small position and if I'm like you know if I'm looking to hold for longer term then I would be you know uh, instead of like putting the stop losses I will be looking to buy into some of the support around that uh, you know 10,300 uh, level which is, will be another support point at the price action uh, that we have seen before um, so those are some key levels that I'm looking at uh, right now the support is coming from the moving average and uh, daily chart and the weekly chart so let's see um, how it holds up um, nothing more to like you know say on that um, it's just kind of you know um, consolidation right now uh, so let's see uh, how the market reacts uh, in the next few days uh, if we are going to uh, see a you know um, a retracement or if you're gonna see a bounce back but another thing that I do want to point out is like you know um, recently we got over the 50 day moving average in the daily and we are breaching that 50 day moving average toward the downside uh, toward the downside as of right now so let's see how the market finished today and how it's trading tomorrow a 50 day moving average is another really strong indicator if the price action stays over the 50 day moving average that's a uh, bullish sign and if it stays below the 50 day moving average that's a uh, not not so bu bullish sign obviously so um, we need to see how the price action reacts in the next few days. Uh, right now, it's um, it's just you know it's just um, consolidating and trying to figure out in which direction it wants to go. Um, uh, so I'm just waiting and watching, not taking any trades, not taking any you know major moves. Um, so let's see how the market reacts. But just wanted to bring you this quick um, video and just let you know that there is a support that we are getting in the weekly uh, from the 9 day moving average and in the daily from the 20 day moving average alright so as long we are over those moving average um, you know the bulls still have the um, uh, majority and if we get below that then it might uh, create some downward pressure and we might go toward 10,300 level all right so that's all guys let me know if you have any question post it in the comment if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe if you have any questions if you want me to do your you know portfolio analysis then do shoot me an email all right i uh, will talk to you soon thank you